from Forex Traders Daily. This is your daily analysis with Ross Mullins, live from Richmond, Virginia. Hello, everyone. This is today's video analysis for January 18th, 2017. In just a moment, we'll be taking a look at the USD CAD, the US dollar versus the Canadian dollar, for today's trade analysis. But first, a recap of one of the trade suggestions made. Over the past few days, we're taking a look at the EUR USD, the euro versus the US dollar. Been looking for over the past couple of days a buy into support. Uh, a few days ago, we saw the market push through the purple shaded area that's right in the middle of this longer black box here. There's a purple zone there. The market pushed above it a couple of days ago, sat down into it as support. Taking the buy on Monday into the purple shaded area, you can see the trade going down here at 105.95, taking the buy there and the market pressuring higher just above the 1.0700 level over the past 24 hours. Good deal of profit there taken on the trade. We've locked in with the stop loss. Can't lose. My stop loss is currently 106.35, so we've locked in 40 pips of profit. Can't lose on the trade, and we have closed some of the profit. Of course, we would love to have seen it break through the 106.90 level, the top of the blue shaded area. It just challenged it. It tested it. No real breakout here on the daily time frame. So we're still looking for the buyers to come back in and drive it in the direction of our current momentum that we've seen. But uh, at least right now, sellers seem to be fighting back just a little bit here for the euro dollar. Let's take it on over to the USD CAD, the US dollar versus the Canadian dollar. Of course, we have two different trends that we've been studying in the trade room. Let me zoom out one time. You can see the blue trend lines recognizing a rising trend pattern uh, over a several month period of time, going all the way back to April and May of last year, where we began the uptrend, started going up many times, several times, dipping down into the blue trend lines and rallying. You can see all the red trend lines pushing down into the blue trend lines and then rallying back higher in the direction of longer term trend. Zooming it in, you can see that recently we have broken through those two blue trend lines here with the black boxes broke through it and continued the sharp downtrend that you see here along the red trend line so that's what we're looking at today the downtrend is still there there's no reason to believe that that downtrend has changed we do see a little bit of a, a dip in oil prices this morning likely the cause of this pressuring higher into resistance are those dips in oil prices if we see oil find support and start moving back higher again we may look for this to start working its way back down because of the connection between oil prices energy prices and the Canadian Canadian dollar. Uh, something else to consider, uh, interest rate news uh, soon coming out from the Bank of Canada. Uh, that also could uh, Im uh, imply some risk and volatility here on this currency pair. But right now, we're in the resistance. Look at the yellow shaded area right here in the middle of the chart. Uh, let me grab this black circle, and I'm going to pull it right here. The yellow shaded area right here where the black circle is has been support. So we know that historical support can help us identify future resistance. That's what uh, kind of the basic thing that most traders learn at the beginning is support can help you identify resistance, resistance helps you identify support. So right there where the black circle is, historical support going to offer us a clue to some intraday resistance. Just beyond that, or just a little bit further back, you can see the blue circle where the market found support there again. So support here, support here, likely or possibility to find resistance here into the 3115, 3090 level, the yellow shaded area. Another instance that I want to point out to you, and let me see if I can grab another one of these circles here. I'll just draw it out like this and then pull it back here is this one right here with a bigger black circle is you can see the market finding resistance at the yellow zone even touching the blue zone before returning back down and making a new low so again there's been historical evidence I can go back in time far left hand side of the chart there's another one back here on the very far left hand side of the chart where the market found resistance at the yellow zone and turned back down uh, and made a new low so again Multiple times along this yellow shaded area, we've seen not only resistance and reversal to go down, support and reversal to go back up. So we know that this yellow zone, right around the 131 level, you know, 10 pips below, 10 pips above or so, we know that this is historical support resistance and it's a decision zone where the market, the Forex, has made trading decisions before to buy, sell, enter, or exit. And so we have the potential 
to make that similar kind of trading decision. We know that the trend is down. So if the trend is down, the momentum's down, that becomes the direction we're going to focus our energies in for the current trade. Let's go ahead and take it down to the four hour time frame. So here it is. We see it coming down, touching the pink zone, bouncing back to the blue zone uh, late last week. Then we see the market take another stab at the pink zone down here into the 1.3040 level and now making that little retracement. Look at this. Even right here is showing some support right there at that 1.31. 10, 15 level top of the yellow shaded area. So for the day today, what I'm looking for is for the market to stay underneath within and underneath the yellow zone and target back down to the pink zone. It doesn't mean it can't go up. It still could go up, but that's giving us a trading opportunity in the direction of the trend. At least right now, there's no reason to buy it because uh, it's in the resistance. The only reason to buy it would be likely a change in a breakout above this last high, but we're not doing that. So at this point, your risk is a break above the yellow zone. Stop loss, I have a 45 pip stop loss on it, so that puts it right around the uh, 1.3155 level, just at the bottom of the blue zone. So looking forward to bounce off of here, 31.15.10, start working its way back down in the direction of the trend for the U.S. CAD today. From Forex Traders Daily, this has been your daily analysis with Ross Mullins. If you would like to get Ross's analysis on all the currency pairs he's watching and all the trades he takes today, join him in his live trade room by clicking on the link below. Please leave any comments you have about today's video in the comments section below.